Hello everybody, Alaska Fred here. It's been a little while, but yeah, I'm on, I've been uh, just like a few other people, I've been keeping an eye on this impeachment of Donald Trump. And, and I'm, I'm actually finding it very funny. You know, uh, the Democrats are screaming for a fair trial. They gotta have a fair trial in the Senate. But if you actually look and paid attention to what happened in the House, it definitely wasn't fair in the House. Uh, you know, the Republicans couldn't call any witnesses, couldn't do, uh, you know, they were completely overruled by the Democratic Party. And, you know, so they, so I don't see how they can scream, you know, how the Democrats can scream for a fair trial. And also the fact that uh, you know, in the House, they drew up all these, art, you know, drew up these two articles of impeachment, uh, abuse of power, yeah, president uh, with abuse of power, and obstruction of Congress. Well, from my understanding, from what, everything I've been paying attention to, uh, neither the abuse of power or the uh, obstruction of Congress is an impeachable offense. If anything, it's a don't do that again offense. But, you know, the, you know, the obstructing of Congress, it was because, uh, you know, they wanted, uh, they wanted certain things and the president said no. And, um, instead of doing what they should have done and taking it to court and made the court say yes uh, there was a deal where Nancy Pelosi said we don't have time for court we are no we don't have time to wait for the court's decision okay so it's totally BS right there so you know they drew up the articles and voted on them uh, no Republican votes, and even one or at least one, maybe two Democrats voted against them. But still, was nowhere near enough. So then Nancy Pelosi holds on to those uh, deals because that was done in what was it, just just before Thanksgiving, and they held on to them till just the other day. No, they held on to them for a month, and refuse to send him over. It's like, oh, we got to make certain we have a fair trial. I kept going on about that. But, all right, all, whatever. Now, now it's in the Senate. So, now you have Adam Schiff and Jerry Nadler and a bunch of other uh, House Democrats sitting here going, we need more, uh, we need more evidence. You need to include this and you need to conclude that. Oh, we have boxes of evidence, but the problem is boxes of evidence weren't put in the original impeachment stuff. So, or, or witnesses. We want to talk to more witnesses. Well, why didn't they call more witnesses? This is just pathetic. I mean, yeah, Donald Trump talks about, um, he'd love to go the long route and call all the, wit all the relative witnesses and whatnot. Now I'm going to use this one. I'm biased. Yeah, in a way, uh, yeah, I, I'm a biased. But yeah, because I, I voted for Trump, and so far Trump has not let me down on with what he said he's going to do. And a couple times he's left me going, hmm, but not not let me down on what, what he said he was going to do. So I've not I've not seen a reason to be pissy with him and actually uh, I'll be voting for him in November. And when when it comes time to vote again, I'll be voting for him again. But yeah, but no, it's just these these Democrats, even the Democrats in the House, oh we need we need to or you're in the Senate, the new you know, over here, you got more Democrats going, we need more information. Now, you need to look at the information they provided and go with that. 
because if the house had such a strong case, they got the perfect case to impeach the president and have him removed from office, they wouldn't need to add more stuff to it in the Senate. It's because there just seem to be a bunch of liars. Then you got Adam Schiff, he's a straight out. I don't think Adam Schiff could tell the truth if someone paid him to, t to give him to say the truth. He just out there. So, yeah, it just it'll be it will be nice when this is over. And you know, granted, I'd love to see it go quick. I mean, it would be very easy to make this a quick trial. Quick over done one. And but uh I understand where they don't want to totally shoot it all out of the water. Uh, they want, you know, the president needs to be acquitted, but not acquitted because of it's quick and they just want it done. Yeah, the, the Republicans in the Senate don't need to do the same thing that Democrats did in the House. They don't need to push it through extremely fast, but they need to stand on their laurels and it's like, hey, you had a chance to give all this information. You didn't. All these people that uh, you want to come in and testify now, you should have had in before. And if we have questions for, the, for those people that you should have had in before, then we would have called them. But you didn't call anybody. So, yeah, or the people you did call or by or partisan hacks, with second and third hand knowledge. Oh, so. Oh, oh yeah. What happened to the whistleblower that started it all? He's the one person the Senate should fall upon. Yeah. Even though it was not, uh, he did, you know, they didn't uh, bring the whistleblower out at all during uh, the Senate stuff. They kept, oh, we. We gotta protect the whistleblower. Every time someone tried to get some information, maybe not the name of, but figure some information out of. And supposedly, according to certain news outlets, the whistleblower had been figured out who it was. Ooh, we got moose. We're going that way. Cool. Ah, uh, but yeah, some people come out. They come out with an idea who the whistleblower was. Regardless of who the whistleblower was, the Senate needs to call that whistleblower. Period. See what that whistleblower is actually all about. And that right there, regard you know, you, know, you got the whistleblower, and supposedly he's the one who started. And this whole impeachment thing started back in what 2016. When uh, Trump came down the escalator, and, or you know, and that oh uh, you know, yeah that, that that Hawaiian representative or senator or whatever Ramon or uh, Hormono Hormono hey there we go Hormono I don't know how to pronounce her name but she's sitting there going uh, that it's a uh, conspiracy theory that they've been trying to uh, uh, impeach the president since. He came down the escalator. The problem is, if you watch the news, and I'm not just, you know, if you actually go back and watch all the news, it's all there. You know, uh, CNN, and MSNBC, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, granted, the only one really talking much about it is Fox, and uh, of course, the senators are talking crap about, oh yeah, Fox News, they're all a bunch of whatever. But, yeah, it's kind of stupid. But I'll be glad, actually, when this is done. And so, uh, I also heard, I don't know if this is true, i, I got to look this up. I heard that if a president is impeached in his first term and acquitted, you know, impeached by the House, but acquitted by the Senate, he can actually rerun his first term. So technically, he, if this is true, which I don't know if it is, not 100% sure, you know, I have to look it up, but uh, if, if this is true, it means when, when Trump runs for election in uh, 
2020, you know, this year, and in November if he gets it, boom, it will not be his second term. It would be his first term all over again, which in turn will allow him to run in 2024. So, if that is all true, <laughs> that'd be freaking hilarious. Ah, uh, yep. I don't know. I, I need to look that up, and actually, so does Trump. Yep. They need to figure out if this is actual a true thing. If this is a true thing, it'll be fucking hilarious. Sorry, everybody. I'm already past the 10 minute mark on this, so I'm um, getting close to 11 minutes. Wow. All right, so uh, I'm going to go and let y'all go. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you dislike the video, you can hit the dislike button, that's fine. Just let me know down in the comments why you dislike the video. Uh, it just, uh, right now I don't have much other to do other than uh, driving down the road talking to the video camera. So, I'll bring it up. As soon as summer hits, I have uh, other plans to do. So, alright everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye.